is up guys pop stuff here and welcome to the review of the animal crossing movie so basically i had a little bit of free time so i sat down loaded up internet archive and watched the hour 27 japanese version of animal crossing the movie um i i don't understand japanese but i had the subtitles on um that's that usually helps me when i'm whenever i'm watching a um a movie that i can't understand the language of I don't know why subtitles. I just feel like I'm listening to an in English when I have subtitles for a foreign like movie or show. Anyway, I got time to watch this movie, and I just thought, oh, it's gonna be another cr cash grab from Nintendo for Animal Crossing <coughs> Pocket Camp. Um, but it was really good. Firstly, I want to highlight the amazing animation in this movie. Like this is Studio Ghibli level animation. They had like. All the movement of the flow of the characters was amazing. It was top notch. I, I couldn't, I couldn't get off my seat for the hour twenty seven. Um. Anyway, secondly, I want to highlight the um the characters because they're really well done. Um. There was um, Sally, the main character. I think Rose, Rosie, but they they call her Bouquet in this movie. Um. It was Tom Nook, there was the turtle guy, the old grumpy man. He's pretty greedy in my opinion. Um I'm pretty sure there was Red. There's this other boy, there was this crocodile. You know the mole guy that comes out of the ground whenever like he get when he gets angry? Yeah, he was in this mood too. So let me highlight the basic plot for you. So a young girl named I, she just she decides to move to Animal Village to like start a new life. Um, at the start, she's in um, seen in the car with Cap'n, which is a which is a an iconic scene from the earlier game of Animal Crossing. Um, she moves there. She's greeted by this lovely pelican lady, who's her, who's the reception at the town hall. Then she's greeted by the <coughs> um, grumpy, <coughs> greedy, um, turtle mayor. I forgot his name though, Tortemeyer or something. You'll have to let me know in the comments. Um, so yeah, he's greeted by them. Then I goes, then I's, um, told to go to Tom Nook to talk about the, um, housing. Though Tom Nook does go, I mean, no, sorry, I goes to Tom Nook. And Tom Nook responds by picking up, by taking off his apron, giving it to I, and walking out the door. He says you need I to do work in order to fulfill the housing needs for her. So yeah, I works. She was a bit skeptical at first, but she decides it's a good way to interact and like conversate with the com the community of um and what's it called uh more village. So yeah, she goes through, and yeah, she makes a lot of friends along the way. Now the pl the like the complication. There was like two, two, two or three in this movie. I'll highlight everything that I picked up. The first one was um Sally. So Sally becomes I's best friend in this movie. Like they hang out everywhere together. And then I decides to pursue her fashion dreams by moving, but she didn't tell I. I and she goes. And I is like in tears at the roost uh, on like every night. But then she gets a letter from from Sally letting her know that she couldn't say it in person to I because she'd probably tear up as well. So I that's resolved, I guess. The second one happens at the end, where I think Gulliver, he lands with this spaceship thingy. He needs the parts to a spaceship, and they've landed around Animal Village. Everyone scatters for them. Everyone gets them. And then the group of friends in this movie, um, Bouquet, Sally, I, the one that you, I think the boy, and that crocodile dude, they that 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 group's a that's a group of friends. Um, they go and they find the lost part. You does like a big like jump to get it. He gets it, but he falls down. <laughs> but they go back and get it. And then the parts turn into this random mysterious alien creature. And for a while, I just just staring there like um what? Because there was just this random montage of the alien just hovering around. I then it goes back up and I'm like oh yes finally the thing is over. And then. Gulliver gets back on his ship and leaves. Um, the third, like, minor big complication, I think, 
was really just eye fitting in trying to get her things but that's definitely not a complication i just thought i'd just highlight that so yeah i explore the animal village with her friends complicates along the way they do go on a fossil hunt in the caves because bouquet tells her everyone that she knows where it is you shakes you shakes her and she's like oh tell me tell me tell me tell me so they go on a boat, like like a pirate trip, and they find this fossil that Blathers, he has been wanting for a while. Because in the movie, he do, she does meet Blathers and um, Celeste. But, yeah, and he finds the fossil that she's been wanting. So, yeah, this was a really great movie. Um, great animation, great plot. Um, well, the, the plot did feel a bit uh, basic, but, like... You know, it's it's good for a Nintendo movie. Honestly, hard opinion here. This was better than the Mario movie for Nintendo. Um, if I had to rate this, I'd give it 4.5 out of 5 stars. And yeah, that's basically it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>